Hi everybody, it's Carol, and I'm back with another journal share for you today. And uh, this is a, a vintage shabby chic journal. And um, what I have here is a, the papers I have are Stemperia and Tim Holtz. Now the front, the cover is made with Stamperia paper and I have one signature in here and I believe there's about 80, 85 pages in here. And the front cover is, this is vintage lace. It's my mother-in-law's and we've had it for so many years and it was tucked away with other laces and whatnot that we had, tablecloths, and I believe it's from the 1940s. And I have it wrapped around the front and back, and I have a tuck, so I use it as a tuck. And I believe these are Tracy Fox ephemera. And in the back, I have a booklet I made, I did a tutorial on this a few days ago, and I have the uh, ephemera, coffee dyed um, journaling card in there, and this is from Tina, her ephemera, and labels, and I have a rose on the outside and some lace and my butterfly, and um, that's it. So I'm going to stick this inside the back cover. And let's get to the front. Okay. Oh, also, I have a snippet of uh, applique that was also with everything from my mother-in-law. And it's just beautiful. Gorgeous. So I have that on the front cover also. Okay. Um, be on the front cover, the front side the back side here I have some more you know of this beautiful lace with the uh, pink ribbon it has gold edging I'm not sure if you you know how well it's picking up on camera but this is Stamperia paper and it is an envelope and my tuck in here my journaling card I have a floral ephemera on there with a dictionary label and some Tracy Fox label and the top has sari silk and some beads on there and I just stick it behind there and I have over here I have my floral book pages which I love so much and coffee dyed papers lots of coffee dyed papers over here I have I believe this is a bull bull clip and I have music paper and I backed it with the coffee dyed paper for journaling. And I have my floral ephemera on the front and a Tracy Fox label. And clip it back on there. So over here I have some more of, of the, um, the zigzag. I guess you, could, you call it zigzag. Anyway, um, some pretty lace on the front over here, which was my mother-in-law's also. I don't know how old it is, though. And I have a doily with my floral ephemera on both sides. And this is interesting, this coffee dyed paper I have. The design I get, when I make my coffee dyed paper, I usually put it outside on a sunny day. I put it on my picnic on our table our picnic table and by the lazy susan we have design over there so i lay papers on there and it picks up the design and so when it dries it looks so beautiful i love that and he, there's some more of the vintage lace over here it's a like a bluey gray beautiful and i have a corner tuck here with mushrooms and labels and Here's some Tim Holtz washi, and I have two, two journaling cards I stuck behind there, and on this page I have uh, 
This is Tina. Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah, her ephemera, and a label from Tracy Fox. Again, here's some more ribbon lace from my mother-in-law. And I have a bulb pin on there with a butterfly. And I have my bird ephemera and labels. And over here I have uh, another doily with my floral ephemera. Coffee dyed paper my floral page and here's some more ephemera and I have a belly band here with a journaling card and I have little beads on the top and again that beautiful ribbon coffee dyed papers and here I have a bag over here and this is from a baby shower that I went to this past weekend and I made a double tag for journaling inside there and I have it hooked together with the sari silk and some vintage lace on the back of that with a beautiful rose and a label and this page is very interesting I have a uh, I have a page tuck here with some labels and I have a floral garden over there and this here flip out, I believe, is Tracy Fox Ephemera. So I have that bound together with muslin. And this is the middle of the, sign of the signature. I don't know if I told you this is one signature, and there's probably 80 or 85 pages in there. And I have... Uh, book pages underneath the mushrooms and I have some stamping going on both pages and I have a uh, butterfly charm in the middle and I have Tim Holtz washi tape with some vintage lace and also this is um, vintage lace also part of my mother-in-law's stash that I had to use and on the back there, I have a, a the circle. This is Stamperia paper. And I love the, uh, the circle ephemera. I just think it's so fun to put your journaling card into. And I have some labels going on. Here's a corner tuck with some Tim Holtz paper or card stock that that I'm using that is my journaling card and I have some woodland a label there and sorry silk with the button and I have music paper and the stamperia paper over there and here's some more of that vintage lace and I have a bulb pin with a button and some lace on there and this is my flip out pad which I have a tutorial on this that I made last week. And this attaches inside there. Some more coffee dyed paper and my book pages. And I have a corner tuck. And I have, I also have a tutorial on, on this that I did. And this is the vellum paper that I put over music paper, and it looks so beautiful. And I have the sari silk on top with my little butterfly charm. And I have some more doily with mushrooms, and here's that beautiful vintage blue, bluish gray lace, and some Tim Holtz washi tape. And we have the, uh, the circle ephemera with a journaling card. Look at that coffee dye. It's gorgeous. And I have labels on there with some lace and buttons and some beads. Another doily with some floral on there. And I have a tutorial also on this bag. It's the... Um, the glassine bag with with 
the um, washi tape, the fat washi tape that's around it. And I have a tutorial on these cards also, and they fit perfectly right in there. And here's some more ephemera and butterflies and sari silk. And I have another piece of the, um, the lace there with the bulb pin. And I have a little rose attached to that. And here's some more of the floral pages. And this is the back page. It's just like the front page. I have that beautiful vintage lace on here. And the pink ribbon with the gold. The gold edging. I hope you can see that it's really very, very pretty. And I have two journaling cards back there. And that's it. This is it. It took me... I did this in probably a day and a half. I just had all my ephemera and everything and I wanted to use um, I wanted to use my mother-in-law's lace and you know get it onto a journal. So this is what I have for you today and I hope you enjoy it. Please leave me a comment and um, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.